11 na'am lil mujamala la lil mujadala it means yes for flattering no for arguing arguing it is a serious poison for the relationship for the marriage al awza'i may Allah be pleased with him said idha rada Allah bi qaumin sharran فتح عليهم الجدل ومنعهم العمل من الله سبحانه وتعالى wants to cause people evil Allah would leave them arguing disputing among themselves therefore my brothers my sisters yes for flattering no for arguing it will keep the love of your wife 60 ways to keep the love of your wife guaranteed now we go to 12 Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam here taught us a great tip which is nadiha bi ajmal al asma call your wife with the best names she like to hear did rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam practice this yes he used to call our mother aisha ya aish may allah be pleased with her ya aish so there's nothing wrong with you calling your wife sweet pie honey bun Uh, sweetie you know call her with any name she like call her with the name that she loves to hear that particular practice will go direct to the heart it is one of the ways to keep her love guaranteed 13 al hadiya wal mufaja as sara or al mufaja as sara sometimes you know a pleasant surprise that pleasant surprise also you think it's to the stomach but it could be to the heart there's so many ways to do the pleasant surprise maybe she loves for example watermelon and then suddenly you are bringing her a watermelon where it's not even the season of watermelon and somehow you bring her watermelon it's not going to the stomach this is going to the heart this is called a pleasant surprise pick and choose be an artist of surprising her in a pleasant way حفظ اللسان number 14 this is serious matter preserving the tongue some brothers some sisters may say something that takes years to wipe out or wipe out rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught us that the collection of people's tongue will through through them right on their face the hell fire wal iyad billah so حفظ اللسان preserving the tongue it is seriously an important matter 15 kullana sahib aib means all of us have shortcoming for us to look only in her shortcoming and to think that we are perfect it's a really serious problem so expect her shortcoming and accept her shortcoming and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put baraka in your life and you will have you will keep as well her love 16 al karam bit taqdeer al karam bit taqdeer you'll find some brothers really they love their wives really they appreciate them really they like what they have done today or the food they cooked or the way how they dressed but they don't say it they just love it and they appreciate that they keep it in their heart take it from your heart or from the tongue of your heart put it in the tongue of your mouth deliver it show her tell her that you appreciate her tell her that you like that particular meal she made tell her wa ashruhunna bil ma'ruf allah showed us that to live with them and to deal with them in a good way in a kind way so show that appreciation 17 salat al rahm wa ikram al aila to keep the love of your wife encourage her to be in touch with her kin relation and to be kind to her mom and dad and to be in touch with her mom and dad that brings her life blessings that brings her life mercy from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in return that blessing and mercy is your love and it's your mercy it is your comfort number 18 takallam speak of the topic of her interest choose the topic of her interest you know sometimes you are 
10 hours outside home, 12 hours, and that one hour, two hours, three hours you spend with her. Some of us will carry a conversation where really she has no interest in that. We'll come and tell her, you know, today in my training, I got somebody kicked in the stomach and he vomited at me and all this. You know, no, that's something she is not interested in. Pick a topic of her interest. It will keep the love. It will increase the love. It preserves the love. 19. What is 19? Idhar al-khayr. And this is seriously important matter. That right before her relatives, right in front of her relatives, that you show that she is wonderful. That you really mention that she is wonderful. That you admit and you accept and you realize and you confirm that she is wonderful. Show that to her relative. Speak out that she is a good person that can preserve the love. 20. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam gave us also major tips. Because what I'm telling you, my brothers, my sisters, is from the Quran and the Sunnah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam in this particular point, number 20, tahadu tahabu, means give each other gifts. You will love each other. You know that $5 gift, $50 gift, $500, whatever you could afford. That gift, it goes a long way. And this is confirmed by Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that when you give her gift, she will love you and that will increase the love and that will polish the love. And you could try that anytime. It works. When is the last time you bought your wife a gift? My brothers, my sisters, it doesn't mean that she's my wife, I have to wait for an occasion. No! There's an everyday a reason why you have to give her a gift. Take an example. Suppose you come to my home, while you're drinking your coffee, you pour it in your clothes, you drop the coffee in your clothes, I come, take your clothes personally, wash your clothes, dry your clothes, iron your clothes, what would happen? I'm sure for the rest of your life, you will not forget this story. You will not forget what I have done for you. What about your wife, who is doing daily much more than that? Whether she is working at home, a full-time mom, whether she's working outside, and again, being also a full-time mom. Tahadu, tahabu. 21. And that means getting rid of the rust, getting rid of the routine, surprise her, make a change. You know, she's day in, day out, living certain routine. Get rid of this routine once in a while. Scrub the rust. What does that mean? You know, for example, you could buy a package and surprise her, you know. For the next two days or for the next day, we're staying at the Niagara Falls. There's a nice hotel. There's nice meals. You know, that small action, it will get rid of the regular rust, the regular routine. It will increase the love, polishes the love. One of the ways in these 60 ways to keep the love of your wife guaranteed. 22. حسن الظن بالزوجة Actually, Islamically, we are requested, and not only requested, we, are, we have a demand upon us from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have to think good. Now, thinking good of each other, that applies to the wife as well. حسن الظن بالزوجة Thinking good of your wife will protect the love, increase the love, one of the ways in this particular advice is today to keep the love of your wife guaranteed. 23. You know, when I go through these as point forms, but in reality you are saying, wait a second, maybe I'm short in this point. Maybe I never really practiced this point. You know, pick and choose, my brothers. Means have the manners of just pretend you did not hear that word from your wife. Pretend you did not see certain things she did. 
Of course, I'm not saying something huge and big because if she's done something terrible, you don't want to help her shaitan against her. You want to help her against her shaitan. But that little thing she has done that you didn't like, pretend you did not see it. Khuluq al-Tatnish means that little word, something she said that you did not you know, like, pretend you did not hear. That particular manners or that particular practice, it was a practice of Imam Ali radiallahu an. This way you are like putting a hole in your memory. Just pretend you did not hear that. Just get rid of it. Don't save it in your memory. 23 is khuluq al